You're watching KREX 5 News. Welcome back. I'm joined now by Brianna Madison on behalf of Charmed by Heirlooms. And today we're going to show you how to make a very fun rustic fall decoration, which is coming up. I mean, we're almost in October now. Can you believe it? Which is ridiculous. I know. So let's talk a little bit about Charmed by Heirlooms. We always like to talk about this before we get into the project. Um, just so people know, who does this benefit and what exactly is it? Absolutely. So Charmed by Heirlooms, we are located on Main Street downtown, and we are a sister store for Heirlooms Fry Hospice. Uh, all of our proceeds support Hope West, a local nonprofit uh, that does grief support, hospice, and palliative care for our community. And you know, it is phenomenal the donations we get from our community. They are so incredibly generous. And when we get neat things, we like to upcycle them and turn them into something new. All right. And so today, I know we're upcycling things into rustic jack o' lanterns. Yes. Which yes. is very exciting. Um, so let's start talking about some of the stuff maybe we have here and then how we can make these things. Absolutely. So, you know, it's so fun to decorate your porch for fall, oh, yeah. but it's still a little early for a true pumpkin out on the front porch. Mm -hmm. So just like you would a normal pumpkin, we went ahead and printed out just some easy stencils yeah. offline. I mean, someone there more artistically go. inclined than myself could absolutely <laughs> freehand some of these things. Yeah. But we started out just like you would with a normal pumpkin. So okay. for example, on this one, I taped my stencil and then just traced it with Sharpie. And then we filled it in with Sharpie. It was that easy. Wow. So this would be super fun and easy to do a project with kiddos. Uh, and that was something we found at heirlooms as well, yeah. that shovel. And then this guy, the oil can, we actually used our chalk paint by Annie Salone. So we also used our stencil and then simply filled it in yeah. with our chalk paint. So and that is a and that's easy, here easy too. Yes, and we sell this at Charmed and it's super easy. I call it a miracle paint because it works on everything. Yeah. And then this one is actually my favorite piece. Yeah, this one's a so little bit what we did, we did our stencils, same as the other two pieces, mm -hmm. but one of our volunteers used a plasma cutter oh, wow. to cut this guy out. And I get not everybody has a plasma cutter yeah. at home, but this is for sale at the store yeah. to take the easy way out. And we just filled it with some floral design, but it would also be perfect for some candles or even those little battery operated candles for the front porch. Exactly. So you kind of have two options here. I, I think I would take the painting approach because again, um, I'm definitely someone who would need a stencil, <laughs> not too artistically inclined, but um, yeah, you can paint it, you can cut it out. Um, I think even, you know, if you find something pretty thin, you could probably use like a box cutter or Absolutely. something like that as well. Absolutely. This is such a fun idea, and you're right, with pumpkins, it's still a little bit warm outside right yeah. now for pumpkins to be putting it out in time for Halloween, so this is a great alternative, and you are upcycling stuff. Exactly, and then these are super cute, come together on the front porch, and I always just say it's the rule of odd numbers with three or five items, and then put those on the front porch for a fun design. Perfect. And if people want to check out how to do this themselves, I know you guys have a blog. Yes, yes, that's all on our Charmed by Heirlooms blog, and it, we walk you through step by step the whole process. Perfect. Okay, well, thank you so much for joining us today. Um, we want to see your projects. If you make any of these DIY projects, make sure to post it on our Facebook page. We want to check it out. Um, and also, yeah, go to their blog for other things that you can do DIY. They have tons of projects that come in every month. So we'll be right back after this break. Thank you so much for joining us today, and we'll be right back in a few minutes.